I watched Top Gun 2 recently and I realized that I had forgotten what happened in the first movie. So here is a full story recap of Top Gun that came out in 1986. In March 1969, the US Navy established a school to polish and train its top pilots, and shape them into the finest fighter pilots, better than any navy in the world. This project was called Fighter Weapons School. However, all the pilots and officers there, called it Top Gun. An aircraft carrier was on duty near the Persian Gulf, when suddenly a fighter plane named MIG-28 breached their area. To get rid of this plane, the Air Force sent their fighter pilots Maverick, Cougar, and Goose on their respective F-14s. As both of them were flying toward the enemy plane that had breached their zone, they saw that they were outnumbered by a lot of other MIG-28 jets. Maverick locked aim at one of them, but before he could fire, the plane flew in the other direction. Cougar was also about to open fire on a plane but his seniors stopped him right away. Although this plane was out of its bounds and in their fly zone, they were ordered not to attack unless the enemy attacked them first. Maverick and Cougar were constantly following those planes, the atmosphere got dense and Cougar started getting a little nervous about what was about to happen. On the other hand Maverick had no issue with this tense situation, he started showing tricks by flying his plane in different patterns, he drove it upside down with the MIG-28, and even showed his middle finger to its pilot. After some time, the enemy plane started going in the opposite direction, the captain dialed them and ordered his pilots to come back. Goose warned Maverick about their planes heating up, and that they should land soon. Because of the stressful encounter, Cougar was worried about his landing and told his friend that he might not be able to land the plane properly. Maverick calmed him down and guided him step by step, making him land back at the airbase safely. When Cougar met with his commanding officer, Stinger, he talked about what he had experienced in the sky. Back at home, his wife was pregnant and he was worried that if something had gone wrong today, his child would have never been able to see his father's face. He want to be with his family and that is why he requested his commander to free him from his duties and mission and let him go back home. His request was approved and Cougar prepared to leave the base right away. Back in the office, Maverick was getting a lot of heat from his commanding officer. He was angry that Maverick did not follow his orders. When he had ordered the pilots to fall back, Maverick dismissed them and started showing off and provoking the enemy. Because of this childish and irresponsible attitude, he will also not be promoted. Although he was an exceptional pilot, but behavior like this would never be applauded anywhere. The officer also told them that he will be sending Maverick and Goose to Top Gun where they will train with the best pilots. Though Stinger had originally planned to send Cougar, but now, he had no option but to select Maverick. Top Gun was a school with the finest instructors and trainers, who had tons of experience in the field. On the first day, the class met their commanding officer Mike, who was known as the Viper. He had previously served in many missions and was one of the best pilots in the US Navy. All the pilots will attend classes and fly at least two combat missions every day. They will face strict evaluations and in the end, the pilot with the highest points will get the Top Gun trophy and will be given the highest rank. That night all of the pilots were partying at a bar. Goose told Maverick about Tom, who was also called Iceman. He was believed to be the best of all the pilots present there. Tom was going around, gathering praise from everyone. When he got to Maverick, there was a lot of tension between them. His attempt to intimidate him failed, as Maverick thought of himself as equally skillful as Tom and he was not going to let him bully. They were hanging out, Goose dared Maverick to get the number of the pretty blonde girl who was standing at the bar. This was Charlie. He sang a song for her and everyone joined in. Charlie was not impressed by his singing and went back to her boyfriend. When she got up to go to the ladies' room, Maverick followed her. He told her that she would be much happier with him and that she should ditch that boring old guy. Charlie laughed at his audacity and walked away. The next morning, the lieutenants were waiting for their class. The instructor was a PhD in astrophysics and it was none other than Charlie. Both Maverick and Goose got embarrassed because of their stunt last night. She was teaching the class about the MIG-28 not being able to do a negative pushover and its other components. As Maverick had recently faced an encounter with this jet, he was more up to date with its formation and rectified Charlie's knowledge. After class, it was time for their combat mission. While he was leaving, Charlie stopped him and praised him for his bravery as it is very hard to fly a plane upside down. She also wanted him to tell her more about the MIG-28 jets, 
she wanted to write a paper on them and his knowledge from his latest encounter would really help her. In the combat, their mission was to attack each other's planes, the more aims they fired the more points they would get. Tom set aim on Maverick's plane and followed him, but it was not as easy as he had thought. Maverick increased the speed and as soon as Tom got near him, he plunged the brakes, causing Tom's plane to fly ahead of Maverick's. Now Maverick was the one aiming at Tom and as he was about to fire, his mission ended and the officers called them back to the base. Maverick had just gotten hold of him but he had to stop. He got annoyed and flew the plane at full speed near a tower, where some officers were having coffee. This startled them, causing their coffee to spill and their shirt ruin. In the changing room, Tom told Maverick that the way he flew was dangerous and put everyone's safety at risk. He laughed at his face because he was fearless. Later, Mike called Maverick into his office and scolded him for insulting the officers on the tower and for breaking a rule by engaging in a shot he was clearly told not to. He also flew his plane below 10,000 feet that could have resulted in a crash. He was not happy with Maverick's behavior and warned him. They took their rules and regulations very seriously at this academy and if he disobeyed them again, his stay at Top Gun would be short-lived. They were both dismissed. Mike had previously flown with Maverick's father who shared the same passion as his son, but it was important to keep Maverick on a safer and less dangerous path. The next day, in class, Maverick asked Charlie for dinner, she shot him down and said that she didn't go out with students. All the pilots laughed and made fun of him. While she was standing near him, she passed him a paper with time and address for the dinner without letting anyone in the class know. He was playing volleyball when he realized that he was getting late. He got there as fast as he could. Maverick apologized for being late after she invited him in. Charlie had a lot of questions for him about the MIG-28. She told him that if she completed her paper on this plane, she would get a big promotion. He told her everything there was to know. Maverick also talked about his parents and childhood. His father was a fine pilot but one day he took off and his plane never landed back. They spent the evening talking about their lives and interests. The next day, in the elevator, Charlie told him that she had never invited a student to her place. He was smart and understood what she was trying to tell him. Goose's wife and kids were visiting for a few days. Maverick was very close to the family and went to pick them up too. In the class, Charlie was teaching them difference theory. She explained how flying a plane upside down as Maverick had done previously, was very dangerous. The enemy could easily tackle the plane and throw it down. She advised everyone to abstain from a stunt like this, as they would have no chance if they faced a counterattack. After this lesson, Iceman made fun of Maverick. He got mad and rushed out of there. Charlie called him but he did not stop, he got on his bike and drove out of there, she followed him by over speeding, trying to keep up with his fast driving. She said that her relationship with him was personal and that she kept her personal and professional lives separate. She did not want anyone in the academy to know that she had fallen for him. After she expressed her love for him, they kissed and ended up spending the night together. The next morning, pilots were on their combat mission. It was one of their most important sessions which is why their senior commanders were also in the air with them. Iceman and Maverick were tied in points. Whoever won this round would get enough points to win the trophy later on. During flight, Maverick got too frisky and flew the plane after Iceman, leaving his partner Goose alone. As soon as his plane got near Iceman, he saw that one of his officers had locked an aim directly at him, and he had no choice but to come down. In the showers, Maverick's senior officer was mad at him, he told him that it is very important for a pilot to stay with his partner. He must never leave him under any circumstances. Iceman also taunted Maverick on this foolish show of bravery and jealousy. However, this time, he was right. Maverick felt bad about leaving Goose alone, he knew better than that and promised him to never abandon him again. In the evening, Maverick, Charlie, and Goose's family were out for brunch. Goose's wife told Charlie that Maverick was completely in love with her. They spent the evening dancing and enjoying themselves. As always, during their combat mission, Maverick and Goose were after Iceman and his partner. Suddenly one of the engines in the plane stopped working. They started losing control of the handle and soon the second engine failed as well. The plane was going around in circles and falling at full speed. Maverick couldn't reach the ejection handle and told Goose to punch them out. When the seat is ejected for parachutes, the pilots have to protect their heads and neck from the extreme shock. Goose forgot to do that and his neck broke. 
Maverick opened his parachute and pulled Goose over to him as soon as he reached water level. He was bleeding and passed away in a matter of seconds. The rescue team arrived and pulled both of them out. Everyone at the academy was upset. Maverick blamed himself for his best friend's death. He was extremely depressed. He refused to talk to Charlie about it too. Maverick visited Goose's family. His wife and son were still grieving his death, she knew Maverick was not okay and hugged him. This visit was very hard on him and he decided that he would leave the Navy. After the investigation committee completed their examination regarding the failed combat mission, they gave a clear statement which stated that Goose's death was not on Maverick's hands, the engine failed and none of them could have done anything about it. Maverick was cleared to fly again but his spirit was shattered. He could not take stable aims and fire clear targets. He even had a fight with his new partner who was questioning him for not shooting at Q. Charlie advised him not to throw his life and goals away. Goose's death was not his fault and he needed to stop blaming himself. However, Maverick was still not out of it. When she met him, he was larger than life and now it was sad to see his state. Her words had no impact on him and she left, disappointed. Mike had called Maverick over at his house, he was looking at the photos when Mike told him that he flew with his father. During a mission, he chose to save other people rather than himself, he sacrificed his life for the safety of others. He also said that if his father was alive, he would have stopped Maverick from leaving the academy and would have wanted him to complete what he started. It was graduation day and Maverick decided to join his other batchmates. He graduated Top Gun and everyone congratulated each other for this high honor. Iceman was the top graduate and Maverick congratulated him for this achievement. While they were celebrating, the Air Force called for their help. There was a crisis situation. A pilot was stranded in the enemy area which was surrounded by MIG planes. Mike chose a few pilots who were to depart immediately, Maverick was one of them too. While they were getting briefed, Iceman suggested the officer that they leave Maverick behind, as he might not be mentally ready yet. Initially, Iceman and Hollywood were sent while Maverick was kept to wait on the base in case of any emergency. As soon as they got into the enemy area, they realized there were more MIG-28s than they had originally anticipated. They attacked Hollywood and surrounded Iceman's jet. He notified that he was trapped and cannot do anything now. The officers sent Maverick. He was anxious and started getting flashbacks of his previous accident. He decided to go back to the airbase. However, he took a deep breath and gathered strength to go on. He flew forward in circles and crossed a jet. Before they could stabilize themselves, Maverick attacked another jet. He started talking to Iceman and guided him, making Iceman attack another one of the enemy's planes. Maverick blew up another MIG and now the fourth one was after Maverick. He fired missiles towards him, but Maverick knew how to surpass them and then blew up the plane that was after him as well. When the other pilots saw this, they decided to retreat and both Iceman and Maverick came back to the base safely. They landed and were greeted by all the pilots and trainees who were cheering for them. After this successful mission, everyone had nothing but praises for Maverick. His instructor visited him and told him they were going to promote him to whatever post Maverick wanted. He said that he wanted to be an instructor at Top Gun. The officer laughed and said if Maverick was going to become an instructor then God help them all. Maverick met Charlie, they made up and this is where the movie ends. I hope you like this video. I will soon be explaining Top Gun 2 so subscribe if you don't want to miss it.